This local sports report is brought to you by the London Beef Eaters, providing a quality football experience since 1975. This fall, come out and support the Beef Eaters in their quest for the OFC and Canadian Bowl Championship. Check out the Beef Eaters' home schedule and come out to TD Stadium in September. Visit LondonBeefEaters.org. The London Beef Eaters at home for their fifth game of the season, looking to improve on their 3-1 record and grab a share of the top spot in the Ontario Conference. They were hosting the GTA Grizzlies, who were searching for their second win of the season. London was coming off a wild game where they went shot for shot with the Windsor AKO Fratman, coming away with a 41-34 win at TD Stadium eight days prior. London's torrent scoring pace continued in this tilt. First quarter, Beefeater's first possession of the game and they establish their running attack. Danny Byrne takes the handoff and lugs it up 18 yards for a nice gain and a first down. The next play though, the Grizzlies break through the line and Michael Holsbosch gets to the quarterback for a sack. More Grizzlies defense on second down, Michael Holsbosch again chasing Jake Pow out of the pocket and forcing a fumble. The Beef Eaters would recover and punt the ball away. GTA with the ball now, and quarterback Romario Cranston is able to recover after the low snap. He sees a hole right up the gut and he takes it. Give Cranston and the Grizzlies a first down and a bunch more. That leads to this 39-yard field goal attempt, but the kick is wide right, keeping the game scoreless. Beaks with the ball again, and Danny Byrne takes another handoff and picks up a whole lot of yardage bringing his team to midfield. The next play, Jake Pow goes to Tazzy Vang Bell on the screen pass and he'll leg it up for another first down. That drive stalled out though, giving the Grizzlies the ball. They have it at midfield, they go for the quick pass, but look at the breakup by Mo Kadri laying out to negate the pass. That forces GTA to punt the ball, and while the Beefs almost block the kick, they're unable to cleanly return it. Follow the bouncing ball, and it's Isaiah Bonenfant who recovers it for the Grizzlies. That ensuing possession, they're looking to score, but on the scramble, Dylan Clark gets to the quarterback for a sack and a big loss to end the first quarter. GTA has to settle for a field goal at the start of the second quarter, and P.S. Adarqua knocks it through the uprights for the game's first points, the visitors leading 3-0. London looking to respond on their next possession. The handoff to Felix Noel certainly helps. He bounces off a couple of tackles before being brought down inside opposing territory. Then the Beefs take to the skies. Jake Powell looks down the sideline and finds Spencer Foster. Foster snags it and takes it in for the touchdown. It's a 44-yard TD pass. The Beefs leading 7-3. GTA ball now, but they have nowhere to go. London with the blitz results in Bruce Moss making the tackle for loss. That results in a two and out for the Grizzlies, giving London the ball back, where Pow finds Josh Waller who climbs the ladder for a nice catch, and he turns around and picks up some more yardage. Next play, the Grizzlies sending the blitz. This time they get to Pow. Joash Perry in for the sack. The play after that, Grizzlies break through again for another sack, pushing London out of field goal range. GTA had a 2 and out, so they're forced to take a safety, making it 9-3. London ball again, and it's a screen pass to Taz Vang Bell. Last week's OFC Player of the Week gets some solid yardage for his team. A couple of plays later, Danny Byrne caps off the drive with a TD run, extending London's lead. The Beefs hit a field goal and forced another safety to go into halftime with a 21-3 lead. Third quarter, on the Beef Eaters' first drive of the second half, Nick McKenzie with the reception and he falls forward for a first down. Fast forward a couple plays and the Beefs are on the doorstep. Danny Byrne hauls in his second touchdown of the afternoon. It was all smooth sailing from there as the London Beef Eaters move to 4-1 on the season. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.